Yo, what the freak is up, everybody? Today it's void, and we're gonna today, yeah. Today it's void. Today it's void. I said. Hey, what is up, everybody? It's void here, and today we're gonna learn how to create some 3D text. Yeah, that works. All right, so let's get started here. First, you're gonna open up After Effects. Okay, why am I talking like that? <coughs> let's start over again. All right, so we're gonna get started here. Open up After Effects. The first step is gonna be to import uh, whatever footage you're gonna want to put the 3D text uh, inside. So we're just gonna pick something here. You don't want to make this footage too complicated because if you make it too complicated, the 3D camera tracker, which is what we're gonna use, is not gonna be able to figure out what the camera's doing, and it's not gonna be able to render it properly. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find some you know just simple footage what you want is simple and slow if possible um, you also want to try to make it pretty short um, because if you're gonna do really long cinematic shots with 3d text in it it's gonna take a heck of a lot of time to render and also it it's most of the time probably not gonna work out because it's too complicated um, so we're gonna keep it simple and okay so you have your shot here and what you're going to want to do is go over to effects and presets and we're going to look for the 3D camera tracker um, if you just type in the search uh, camera tracker or whatever not and uh, basically drag it over here so what it's going to do is basically analyze the footage see where the camera is moving and it's going to detect um, walls and objects within the um, shot um, which you can later um, attach text to and it will move the text around automatically so it looks like the text is actually in the video that um, you know it's a, it looks like the text is actually already in the shot even though it's not so we're gonna wait for this to render and we will be back shortly alright so it's gonna solve the camera for us and if this doesn't work the first time what you're gonna want to do is change the shot type depending on what type of um, you know video you're trying to get in there and if it doesn't show those little points that it was just showing come over here to render track points check that and then make sure you uncheck it because if you have that checked rendering track points what that's going to do is put all these little colorful dots in your final footage and that's what you don't want okay so now we have all these it's basically figured out what's a wall what's not a wall what's a you know what's the floor here and it also you know picks all these spots in the distance that we can let's say we want to put um, you know some text um, so you want to pick a, a good spot to place your text and you want it to be accurate too. For instance, if you choose um, something like this, what it's, it's doing, it's looking at the railing right now. So if you put it on the railing, it's not going to look like, it, you know, it's not going to look like it's, it's on this wall over here. Um, so you want to find a good spot and the way you can tell is by looking at the, um, the little red and black circle that it's creating for us. So I want to put some text somewhere over here on this wall let's say we put it um, we can put it right there that looks good so what you're gonna do is right click on that one and we're gonna go to create text and camera so now it's gonna automatically put text over there for us and if we go to our text thing we're gonna have to adjust this um, a lot so first of all if you double click on that double click on that um, it's gonna bring up the character over here and what we're gonna do with this you can choose any font you want that's going to be um, 3D and then you can you know change all this stuff for now we're just going to leave it simple and keep it simple so now you're going to want to go over here for, for some reason this looks absolutely gigantic so we're going to scale it down a little bit because once we get over there um, with the camera obviously it's going to be a lot bigger so if we leave it huge like it is right now it's not going to look good and now we can also adjust the position and whatnot. So we're gonna want to move it. Um, we're gonna move it over here so it's more more in the center of our shot. So just grab the x coordinate over here, and we're just gonna slide it over. And this is probably gonna take a lot of tweaking. Now, if we want to adjust this, come up here, click on our text, we can highlight it. We're gonna make it say 3D text. All right, so we got our 3D text here. So it's not actually 3D, as you can tell. So what you're gonna have to do, come down in here to Geometry Options, and the extrusion depth is basically how far is it um, in the Z direction. So we're gonna make it, we're, we're gonna drag this out and see how deep we wanna make it. And I would say, let's do about 37. It also depends on how big the text is. So just because mine's set at 37, if you set yours at 37, it might look a lot different than this because, you know, right now, 
um, the text is actually at 343.5% of what it's, you know, the 100% size is basically. Um, so depending on the size of your text, the ext extrusion is going to look different. And we're also going to create a bevel on this text by going to the bevel style. I prefer the angular one and the bevel depth is going to be, well, let's just, let's just throw in about five right now and we'll see how it comes out later. Okay. <laughs> now you're looking at this, you're saying, Logan, I mean, uh, uh, not Logan, who's Logan? So you're looking at this text and you say, you know, that, that doesn't look good. That looks like a piece of crap. Well, that's because we haven't added any light to it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back over here and we're going to put these track points on here. And we're going to go back to our selector tool and we're going to look at all this crap. So we're going to create a shadow catcher and light. So now what's that, what, what that's going to do is basically create a light about right here in this in this footage and it's going to make it look like this is being lit up by the light that we just put in there see so let's let's zoom in a little bit here with our footage and we can adjust the light that we just put in and this stuff takes a lot of tweaking to get it looking right so yeah once you get that done you're gonna you're gonna be like wow that, that looks freaking nice as heck you can see the bevel that we um, put on the text earlier and you can change the amount of the bevel now and then you can actually see it's the little uh, line around here so if you create the depth even bigger it's gonna you know obviously create the, the bigger one and this is where you can also adjust the extrusion depth I think we're gonna make it a little bit deeper and we'll see how that looks okay now that looks like garbage now we, we've got our geometry of the 3d text set up so what we're gonna do is come down here into material options and it's gonna giving this it's gonna give us this overwhelming list of um, possibilities that you could do um, and we are going to mess with some of these and see what happens so if you do the diffuse it kind of changes the brightness quite a bit and you can mess with all these and see what you want to do. if you change the reflection intensity up um, to a copious amount then you're gonna get a crazy amount of reflections we're gonna leave that down maybe 16 see how that looks uh, it's decent. No, let's just, let's just do five. You know, at five percent, it's a good number. It's it's great. Um, we're not gonna keep make it transparent or anything like that. Um, we can change the specular intensity, which is like the amount of um, lighting it's receiving and the shininess of it. Let's just freaking pop that baby up to 100% shiny. Okay, nope, that doesn't look good. We're gonna change it down a little bit and um, make it about 50, 58 maybe. No? Okay. Um, 12%. Yeah, boom! That looks freaking great. Um, so, you're going to want to make sure it accepts shadows, accepts lights, appears in reflections, light transmission. You can mess with all this stuff and make it, you know, you can make it perfect. Um, or you can just, you know, you just leave it and just make it not perfect if you want. So, what you can do now is go to preview and you can basically render this out and see how it looks really quick. And it, um, for this, we're gonna we're gonna make it a quarter of the resolution, so it, it just you know it'll render pretty quickly, and we can see how it's looking um, so far without having to sit there and render out the whole thing. All right, so this preview is pretty much done. What you can do you drag it back here and play it, see how that's looking. Um, as you can see, it looks like this text is floating right in the air, right here, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think it looks great. I think it looks freaking great. And obviously this is on, this is at a quarter of a resolution, so let's say we bump it up to full just to look at one frame here. And give it a second to load, and... Boom! That's what it looks like, um, you know, after the fact. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna save this. Make sure you save it. Um, before you start trying to render it because most of the times um, it'll crash on you um, just because so now what you're gonna do come up to here to file and hopefully you already know how to uh, you know, uh, export make a video basically so we're gonna come up here to file go to export add to our render queue and make sure before you do all this stuff that you hit save because if you start rendering in your computer or the um, app crashes then you're gonna lose everything you did and it's not gonna be fun so now you can go down here to render settings we're gonna keep it at best settings use 60 60 point 
0 2 frame rate for some reason. I don't know why, but we're going to use that one because it's weird. And you come down to the output module. We're going to leave all this stuff the same. Okay. And this right here, down here, um, where it says output 2, you click on that. And we're going to change the name, basically, and location um, where this video is going to output. We're going to hit save. And now it's basically ready to go. And now we're going to click render. And this could take quite a bit of time. Like I said, depending on your uh, computer, and if it does crash, what you're gonna want to do is disable this preview right here. So we're gonna we're gonna pause this for a second so we can disable the preview. Um, this preview it'll it'll basically show the video as it's rendering, and sometimes that'll make your um, your thing crash. So if you just click the X button there, that'll get rid of that, and we're gonna render it again without the preview because without the preview it tends to go a lot faster, and the app doesn't crash all the time. So I will let this render and I will show you the final product in about 29 minutes. Heck freaking yeah. Oh man, that light is so bright. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, leave a like and let me know in the comments. Of course, if you want to see more, subscribe.